Could one of these be our new home? So we're currently just test driving out the GMC. What do you think, babe? Nice. It's nice. It's really nice. It's um, yeah, comfy. Feels everything feels tight and good. Mhm. Mm Engine runs really nice. Aircon's cold, which is a major thing. Um. Yeah, it's just it's nice to drive. The mirrors are big. You can see everything. Got a nice little V8. Might be out of here. <laughs> so this is the back. Free magnets. Comes with free magnets, people. <laughs> Not one. But three. Okay, one's not Oh my god. This is it. Comfy seats. There's heaps of storage. Oh here, heaps down here for my things. Full blown captain's chair. A full blown captain's Ooh. chair for the captain. It's good. I think this is it, babe. If I can last that long. We're now for the fun part. Shopping. Ready to spend some money? No. day one what are we doing today so today we're gonna do the the max air fan on the roof we're gonna do the solar and we're gonna do the insulation and possibly get some some walls up and maybe some floor let's see how we go in the corners of the vent so now I can jump up on the roof and mark it out and cut from the top down what do you reckon this one yeah and that template that I made. so I'm just drilled the holes from underneath to give me um, the positioning to 
cut the top. So I'm just marking it out again so I know where to cut. Measure twice, cut once. It's really the only option here. So, we start cutting. Where are we going to put those now? So I'm just making up some brackets for the uh, solar panels. So that mounts up on the roof and you can see the panels up there. Um, so I've just used like 3 mil, whatever that is, 25 by 25 angle. Should be good. Cool. So we've decided to rip up the floor. Came with this black top and this underlay underneath. But in parts it's a little bit wet, so I'm going to try to lift it off. Put in the sun to dry and then make a call on whether we're going to keep it or whether we just put insulation and flooring in. I mean, it's uh, I think it's good for sound deadening, but I just don't know how this foam insulation is going to go with sound deadening. That's my only concern. So I get the very special task of painting and staining. Um, this is the timber we've chosen for the roof and the, uh, the ceiling and the tabletop. Um, it's just a pine and we're just going to stain it. Um, the colour's called Golden Oak. We did originally have a colour called Espresso but this is a little bit too dark. So I'm going to see how this one is. So it's already a lot lighter. The reason why we want it lighter is because it will be on the ceiling. We want the space to be a bit bigger, to feel bigger. So two coats of this and it should be perfect. What do you think, babe? Looks good. Looks good. That will darken with a second coat. Looks better than that. That was our original colour. It was just way too dark. It'll end up looking black on the ceiling. So. I think this will be a lot better. On the last one, first coat, what do you think? I like it. What do you think? Yeah, it looks good. Do you reckon it needs a second coat? No, I like it this colour. Comment below. <laughs> Just filling up the gaps with some um, expander foam, the stuff that we can't reach. Just to help with insulation, I suppose. Mm -hmm. So we've chosen to use foam insulation. Um, we've got times two layers of half inch foam. The reason for that is because we wanted some flexibility for the wall so um, inch thick foam was a bit too hard and yeah and then Ben's just filling it with 
expandable farm. Looks good. Yeah. Hopefully. So Ben and I were doing the um, insulation and we realized that we ran out of glue and expanding foam. So he's just had to run down to Home Depot and get some more. The problem is that Home Depot from us is about 20 minute drive. So I'm gonna stay here and see how much more I can do while he's gone. I hate insulation. Don't you like quarter to one? I hate insulation. Quarter to one van life. It's currently quarter to one a.m. We are still putting in insulation. But we're almost done. Look at this mess. Not you. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, we're done. We're done. We're heading to bed. We haven't got as much done as we thought we would. It's been a really long day. Um, we almost got all the solar, uh, the solar insulation up. And then tomorrow we're going to focus on the floor, um, the walls, and putting the bed and the cabinets in. Do you have anything you want to say? Not really. No. I'm so tired. It's been a long day. <laughs> We've done... Insulation. And up on the roof. So, uh, fan over it. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day two of the van build. Um, ben and I were up till 2 a.m. last night finishing off insulation. So, it's safe to say we hate insulation. Uh, today's goal is to get the walls up, the floor in, uh, hopefully, start with some cabinets and the bed. We just have to see how we go. We're, we didn't get as much done as yesterday as we thought, but today is a beautiful day here in BC, so the weather's on our side. Let's get to it. Ben let me have a sleep in this morning, but he got up really early to keep going. How's it going, my boss? Good morning. Good morning. So we got all the insulation done. We filled the door with, what's this stuff called? Bats, the pink bats and we did the walls with the one inch foam or the two half inch foams. The roof's done. And filled all these. Filled all the little holes with pink bat. Pink bat. And then we also put reflectix on the doors. So this is um yeah they're full of pink bats and reflectix. I don't know, this might not work. We're rookies at this, so yeah. comment below if we're doing it wrong. <laughs> yeah. And I don't care. Because <laughs> this is how it's being done. <laughs> so for our windows, we're creating some block out um, reflectix. So we're going to do a sheet of reflectix, cut the size of the window, and then put like a block out uh, curtain behind um, and we're thinking of attaching it with magnets so that they're removable so all I'm doing at the moment is just creating a cardboard template and then cutting it against the reflectix. How'd you go baby? Good. So um, 
we had the shapes to fit the windows um, in Reflectix. I just cut them a little bit smaller and then um, used block out fabric um, on both sides and just around the edges stuck it together with um, some adhesive and then just trim the edges so hopefully it'll fit. Show us how they work. I'll show you. So we're going to put magnets on the edges and the magnets will stick to the window. So, so hopefully Yeah, nice. Like that. Nice. There's one there and one behind it. Oh. Push down. I can do it. Just keep filming till I get it. Do you want me to start it for you so it looks like yeah. you did it? I can do it, I wanna do it. That's it. You got it. Time has come to put the roof in. Ready to go. Liv's already painted it all. Ready? Let's hit it. 